Good afternoon. We are on Wednesday of 18th week of Ordinary Time, Year 2. I'm going to be sharing the daily, daily Mass readings for Wednesday 3rd of August 2022. I will share with you in a moment what the readings will be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Before I begin the readings, I'll inform you what they will be. The first reading will be taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, um, 31, 1 to 7. The theme is, I have loved you with an everlasting love. The second reading will be a psalm, uh, Jeremiah 31, 10, 13, verse 10. The response will be the Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock the there are a choice of two gospel acclamations James 1 18 Luke 7 verse 16 and or Luke 7 verse 16 a great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Then, the, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. And the theme is, Woman, you have great faith. Uh, that's the readings I'm going to begin now the first reading from the prophet Jeremiah I will be the God of all the clans of Israel they shall be my people the Lord says this they have found pardon in the wilderness, those who have survived the sword. Israel is marching to his rest. The Lord has appeared to him from afar. I have loved you with an everlasting love, so I am constant in my affection for you. I build you once more, you shall be rebuilt, virgin of Israel, adorned once more, and with your tambourines you will go out dancing gaily, you will plant vineyards once more on the mountains of Samaria, the planters have done their planting, they will gather the fruit. Yes, a day will come when the watchmen shout on the mountains of Ephraim, Up, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. For the Lord says this, Shout with joy for Jacob, Hail the chief of nations, Proclaim, praise, shout. The Lord has saved his people, the remnant of Israel. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far-off coasts. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. Response, The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice and dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. Response. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. By his own choice the Father makes us his children, by the message of the truth, so that we should be a sort of first fruits of all that he created. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus left Genesaret and withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Then out came a Canaanite woman from that district and started shouting, Sir, son of David, take pity on me. My daughter is tormented by a devil. But he answered her, not a word. And his disciples went and pleaded with him. Give her what she wants, they said, because she is shouting after us. He said in reply, I was only I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman had come up and was kneeling at his feet. Lord, she said, help me. He replied, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the house dogs. She retorted, Ah, yes, sir, but even house dogs can eat the scraps that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, you have great faith. Let your wish be granted. And from that moment, her daughter was well again. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The reflection on Matthew fifteen twenty one to 28 for Wednesday, 18th week in ordinary time. Many of us find that gospel story just a little disturbing. Jesus' way of responding to the pagan woman 
seems so out of character. This mother's desperate pleas for her sick daughter initially meets with silence from Jesus. He answered her not a word. As we know from our experience, silence from others can be as difficult to deal with as anything they might say. Indeed, sometimes silence can be harder to deal with than even difficult words. The woman, however, was determined to break through Jesus' silence. She continued to shout after Jesus and his disciples. When Jesus finally did break his silence, it would not have given this mother much hope. I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Gospel of Matthew, in particular from which our reading is taken, portrays Jesus' ministry as addressed primarily to his own people. The people of Israel needed to experience the Gospel first. Israel needed renewing and it would be a renewed Israel who would bring the gospel to the pagans. It is only in the last verses of Matthew's gospel that the risen Lord finally sends his disciples to the core of a renewed Israel to preach the gospel to all the nations. The implication was that this distraught mother would have to wait a little longer. But she was not prepared to wait in response to her dogged persistence. Jesus speaks a mini parable which sounds harsh to our ears today. Just as children have priority over house dogs when it comes to food the people of Israel have priority over pagans which it, when it comes to Jesus ministry at least for the moment the woman's witty response to Jesus mini parable shows that she recognizes the priority that the people of Israel have in Jesus' ministry, but she suggests that the pagans like herself can at least have some of their scraps. Jesus must have felt he had met his match because he immediately granted her request. There's something about this woman that we find very appealing. We like her gutsy faith that won't take no for an answer, not even from Jesus. We probably need that kind of stubborn faith in these times, a faith that does not give up, even when the Lord seems silent and unresponsive. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. I thank you for your comments. Thank you for sharing. And God bless the rest of your day.